it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. You guys, we are back in York, Pennsylvania at the one, the only American Daydreams. That's right, I said it, we're here. It's an amazing store filled with antiques up through the early 2000s because as disturbing as it may be for some of us, the 2000s are vintage. Uh, we're gonna get inside, check it out. It's always a great time. I cannot recommend coming here enough. Um, no matter what it is you're looking for, there's gonna be a little something here for you. If it's your first time here, welcome. Uh, make sure that you're sitting down. We're gonna get in here. There's been a lot of changes even since the last time we were here. So I'm excited, let's do it. Ooh, here's the exterior. There's the doors, which I absolutely love. We've got all of the branding on the door. Get it? Ooh, Skeletor. Masters, Masters of the Daydream. American Daydream. My favorite. Here's the door. Antique door. Very deco. Look at, look at this beautiful place. Stop it. SNH green stamps, clowns, Pink Panther. What more could you ask for? A giant light? Sure. They've got it. Woodstock, it's present. All kinds of cubbies. Again, you got the mantiques, you got the tools, we've got the lithographs, we've got the chalkware kits, we've got ephemera. What do you, it's here. And it's set up beautifully and an amazing vibe. You can't go wrong with this. All right, we're gonna get in here, see what we can find. Let's do it. Awesome display, prime example of what we just saw. We've got Kitsch, we've got Jade, we've got Fenton here, we've got your mod, we've got the retro. What's going on? I don't know. Um, we've got Roseville, we've got high end pottery in here, even. I mean, this is just one little old booth, 85. I don't think there's any chips on it. I'm Am I breaking my Roseville curse? Could be. We've got a little Mobley squeak here at $20. Just found one the other day. Loving the uh, nursery rhyme cookie jar. I will tell you that much. 85 on that one. Beautiful crazing, personal choice. I get it. We've got some American bisque here, the little planters. Seeing the elephant squeak down here. First time seeing him. Ooh, no. It's a chalkware bank. Didn't it look vinyl? Or is it just me? I don't know. Could be. Let's see what else we can find. All right, guys. Some Eperns. Silvercrest, 65 for you. Got the blues. Oh, no. We've got a Fenton lamp here and a blue satin, 345. It's pretty much it's going right, of course. Some little mini hands on nest. Oh, look at this one. Stars and stripes, Fenton. Whoa, 55. Good deal. Hard to get pattern. I think they only produced it for one year. That's cool to see. I've only ever seen that piece once before and it was in an online auction. So that's the first time I've seen it in person. And we do have some books over here. The scrubbing bubbles are present and accounted for. One, two. Super cute, more than likely it was a mail away premium. You know, back in the day when you could collect your box tops and, and send them away for freebies. This is really cool, we've been here before. It might look like just any old tool cabinet, but you can open it and there's all kind of tiny treasures in there for you to check out. Look at that, the enamel pins, this is great. We had a lot of branding on there. Huge fan of that. Look at all of the old car parts, the emblems, all kinds of tiny treasures for us to check out. On top, I am seeing this brass crab. Now, I actually have one of these. It'd be super tempted because I'm a July baby. Cancer's rule, crab power. Watch out for the pincers. 25 on that one. Wow, look at the really tiny treasures in here. Everything is individually baggied and priced, making it really easy for you to shop those. Those would make great junk jar materials. He's filthy, Mr. John Waters. Check out this. It's just a great 
vibe. I just love, again, individual packaging is really where it is at, especially from a consumer's standpoint. Um, you know, there can be something to be said about maybe these weren't in bags and they had little tags on them. There can be something to be said about that. But, you know, from a consumer standpoint, if I see this and I can pick it up, it just makes it that much easier. And I will say this, um, something to take into consideration is that things are less likely to become damaged, twisted, knotted, losing stones when you are putting them in individual bags so that they've got a little bit of a buffer running up against them. Um, you know, here, okay, so then you're going to say, well, Michael, didn't you just say, agreed, these are plastic. These are the charms. Do you remember them? Do you remember? Did you have a full necklace of them? Look at the little hip. Oh, I'm telling you, there's money to be at $10 a charm, y'all. Imagine having a whole necklace. Now, we've seen these cases before, and this is one of my favorite cases. Reason being is that there is Shira. Um, I've got a good bit of Masters of the Universe, but you cannot have a Masters of the Universe collection, in my opinion, without having an appropriate Shira collection. Now, I am seeing a Catra here. She's got her face mask on. I do have a face mask, but it's busted. Boo. She's 28. Oh, that's a good deal. Um, but not only do I see Katra, oh gosh, right above on this cabinet, Web Store used to be one of my favorites as a child. I loved zip lining him around. But right above here, we've got G.I. Joe. But then we've got Katra's steed here, her Pegasus. This is Storm. He is 95. She whoosh, love love storm can't get enough but we do of course have the boys toys here we've got transformers some star wars the ewok village is up there of course a child of the 80s you recognize the mad balls and teenage mutant ninja turtles we've got more masters items in here though i do have all of this just saying we got yeah. Ghostbusters. Yeah. We've got Mask, one of my favorite lines. As a kid, you got the truck that transforms into a different kind of attack vehicle. But you get the little figurines. Always enjoyed the littles, even as a child. Of course, Thundercats, love that. We've got Dino Riders in here. Cool to see. Uh, Dune, the sandworm. He's going to get you. And of course, a huge personal favorite of mine are the Smurfs. I love them. Um, and I will say this, one of the big reasons why I love the Smurfs is because they're just so pure and innocent. And they're this village, they all work together, they all have a responsibility. Uh, they all have these really, they're all the same, but yet they have individual characteristics that differentiate themselves. Yet somehow they all work together and live in peace and harmony if only and i'm gonna say it here on video i'm just saying that we could take a huge example from the smurfs just saying oh shoot it is barbie and the rockers this is her play stage and i am proud to say that i actually own this with the record and i've played the record as a matter of fact sure have and then we're going to enter into a whole comics room. We're going to come on over here. Now we're going to check out some fun, kitschy stuff. I've gotten some good stuff. Let me tell you, I love this booth before. We'll see if we find anything today. I love it. It's sensory overload, but in the best possible way. Um, it's displayed so that we can shop it, but there's just a lot. So I'm definitely digging that. Look at these little mushroom hooks with the figurines on it. That's really cute. And of course, we're gonna come on over here. Oh, look at the giant ant. It reminds me of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, right? When they got shrunk down and they were riding the ant and then the tragedy of it all with the scorpion. Oh no, we're trying to think of bright uplifting content here and here I am talking about the tragedy of Honey I Shrunk the Kids. Even a uh, tintype is in there too. And of course we've got our magical world here. A little Harry Potter inspired. Okay. Ooh. 
that's an interesting mount. We've got the map behind the butterfly mounts. That's really, or moth mounts, pardon me. Talking about that mid-century vibe. Check out all of these goodies. Let's see. I mean, this booth is completely different. And we were here, what, about a month and a half ago. Again, you want to talk about really making sure that you know, your vendor space, your antique mall, your retro mall, your collectible mall is going to be sustainable. You really have to have those vendors in there that are really willing to kind of change things over, give it a fresh look, bring in new inventory. It excites the customers and quite frankly, it gives them a reason to come back. Truth be told, I've been into a few antique malls. I've gone back. The inventory has not changed. What 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 reason do I have to come back into that mall if the items are all going to be the same, if it all looks the same? I don't have a reason to come back in because I know what's already there. And that's a missed opportunity. Those are missed dollars from your consumers. Um, how about some mid cinch glass here while Ellie Smith swung? That's at 135 Really reasonable anymore with that mid-century glass. I'm really digging this piece, though. A little Fenton. Is it? 65? If we're calling it Murano. Ooh, with that caning in there. That one's pretty. I've not seen one like that before. Okay, totally digging the vibe. I'm not going to lie. Okay, the thing that... <laughs> this was um what do we have here designed by evan chop cellulose ch <laughs> let me try this again chopped cellulose cell cellulose wadding okay that doesn't sound kind of skeevy at all uh snuggly midget zoo okay you're a bit controversial here aren't we how much are you 38 <laughs> oh my god it's adorable oh it's so precious i love it right up from our absolutely adorable monkey look at Okay, Michael, get control of yourself. We do have some salt sellers here, and these are the beautiful swans. I mean, you want to talk about having a high-end table setting? How about putting your salt in a swan whose wings open and you kind of scoop out your salt from there? That's pretty bouge. Those are at 25. Loving the little mini candelabras in a brass finish. Um, the metal's a little light for brass, but those are cute. What are they? $12 each. Super adorable there oh look at that brass piece here i'm assuming those are cardinals kind of seeing from the crest on the bird there we're gonna come up here to some amber and a little of the mossy glass pulling on over here but again got some beautiful beautiful uh, art nouveau inspired uh, it's definitely a transfer where it wouldn't surprise me if those actually came out of the 40s and the 50s. And I say that because of the glaze and the painting techniques on those. So great stuff to see. Oh, my word. This thing keeps haunting me. I think it's Dugan glass. Richard has a collection of these. His brother has a collection of these. <laughs> this one's 28. <laughs> it actually does have a finial. Uh, to the top of this piece. And they made a diff number of different colors on this piece. So it just, this is the new thing, I guess, that's going to be following me around at all of the antique stores. Now we are going to move right on over here into some holiday items. We've got some Easter and St. Patrick's Day here. I'm seeing this little weirdo here. Oh my goodness. It looks like it's handmade. That's adorable. Uh, 15 on that little... Handmade. I, I don't know. It could have been manufactured, but it looks like it might have been a hobbyist piece, which is pretty cool. Uh, I mean, when you think about it, it really is one of a kind. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. I love it. Look at that. Are you serious? That was manufactured. 
course, no holiday collection. Oh, these are Bethany Lowe designs. So contemporary, made to look, of course, vintage. Some great, they have it as a vintage bead garland decorated out for, of course, Valentine's. Though I would argue that pink and silver would make for a beautiful kind of mid-century Christmas going on with that. Now, it looks like we have another crafted item over here. This is adorable. Oh, look, it's in a little jello mold. This one's at 30. That's so cute. Oh, we've got some great. Oh, look at the honeycomb bells in their original packaging. What's behind here? Some little dollies. Oh, we've got a reproduction Sears catalog. Um, the reason we can tell it's reproduction right off the bat is because you see the top, it says $6.95. So that's cool to see, but I will say this. These actually make great reference guides. Oh my Lord, that thing is heavy. Um, they make great reference guides because there's a lot of things in here um, you know, that are super collectible. And then we can kind of check out what their original intended purpose was. Uh, I think there are a lot of things that kind of have over time gotten lost in translation and, you know, the more popular terms that we call things might not have been what they were originally marketed and sold for. So these, again, make great reference guides and they're just fun overall to check out. Um, I don't know. I don't think it has the price on it, does it though? No. Of course, I am seeing the package toppers here with the little mercury glass. Uh, these are 25. That's adorable. You could put those on your Christmas tree. Oh, look at the, oh gosh, and they're from Woolworths. Woo. Those mercury glass candles in their original packaging. I mean, those are like pristine. That's at 25. Ooh, that's really tempting. This has just got a great vibe and overall aesthetic. I'm really digging it. Um, let's go ahead and check out the books down here. We've got the historic York County, Pennsylvania, Bucks County here. Um, Robert of the Sand. Ooh, that's got ropes of sand. That's a great vibe to that one. What year? Take a guess. I'm going to say based on color, font, overall condition. I'm gonna go exact and say 1888. Let's see, 1888, what is your guess? Oh, Y'all, 1873, wow, even better. I mean, that condition is great. A Little bit of a split here, but shoot, that's really not that bad. I'm seeing two books here. We're going to take off our beautiful carnival dish here as not to damage or destroy it and set it down here. And let's go back up and check it out. Again, beautiful Victorian era marbling. Oh, oh we're definitely going to check that book out here. This is Smalls, a legislative handbook. That sounds fancy. 1893. I don't think it's going to be. What are the little tabs here for? Let's see. Business, math, all kinds of members of the Senate of Pennsylvania. Mm, don't know how I feel about that. Let's check out this one though. Okay, so I already took a sneaky peek. It's $40, okay? Um, I absolutely love these books. Uh, there's a little bit of splitting here on the first page. We've got a full color plate in there. Let's see, animal book, blue. 1878 to 1888 was our publication. So cool to see. Okay, the bowl's freaking me out. Hold on. Had to get that a little further away from us. Look at that. Look at the beautiful illustrations in this book. Most likely created from woodcut so that they would carve images out on literally wood blocks and they would then get pressed in. Though this could be an early facsimile that's really great to see. Oh, the fairies, did you see them sneak past? Hmm. It might be a little pricey, but I think that there's great value. We do have, oh, it's 28, not 40, Michael. At 28, that's definitely a good thing. <laughs> All right, and then down here, we've got 
Harper's Monthly Magazine, not to be confused with Harper's Bazaar. Um, don't know. They do have some illustrations in these, but it was a collection of the magazines bound per month. So I just, they're, mm, I'm not overly sold on them. And again, the same thing we're seeing over here. And it's essentially the same thing with the Putnam's magazine. So cool to see the little paint text down there. Make sure we don't miss anything over here. You guys are going to have to let me know in the comments if you do see something that I've left behind. Again, another one of these great stands. I wonder if I can get this. It's two pieces, 23 for both. Oh, we've got our Ambro types. Ambro types being the one where they applied a little bit of color. Now these are missing their case, but as I said before, you can in fact buy cases separately from the tin types. This one's impressive. Oh, she's mad. She ain't taking no lip from nobody. Now guys, I said it earlier when we were outside with the stickers, they even have t-shirts in here. Again, branding I think is so important, but I think it's even more important when you have such a great vibe. It adds to the overall presence and footprint of the store. It makes a statement, right? So cool to see. We love a UV display, and this has got quite the display of some pretty stuff here. A lot of times you can get kind of caught up in very traditional items, so it's good to see some a little bit more unique items. And I will say this, I really appreciate the fact that they're putting in their Amberina up here. You know, it, that's a gorgeous glow in that uh, orange, but then we're going to pull it out. Check that out. It has a very Vaseline look to it, but yet again, exposed to that UV light, it goes orange. I think that's pretty cool to see. A little Viking flower frog here. This is interesting. We've got a, oh, that's a great color combo. You know, that's actually a really, a uranium in that amber. That is such a great look to that. That one's at 40. So, you know, the bowl, the amber is Viking, but that's a depression era flower frog. I love that color combination. That is great to see. We do have some Benton down here. I love this. This is probably in their Topaz or their Vaseline. Yeah. Yep. Okay. A little uranium glass frog. That's adorable set that down carefully we have the jada glow of course our little froggy friend here is at 60. isn't that nice i love this color so pretty oh there's that custard fenton fairy it's, oh the jada i had seen this whoops one before i forget 85. it's so tempting to get gonna behave right now Boo, behaving. Oh, look at this. Is this? Oh, yeah, it is. Wow, look at that. Oh, that one's really interesting. Oh, look at that color out of the light. Wow. That's cool. All right, coming out of our UV, we've got another little cabinet here with some great antique bottles and seltzer bottles. A little Pyrex, a Labrador Tory. <laughs> I did that on purpose, just saying. Not crazy. And then how about we stumble over into little Holt Howard land? A little stanky cheese. Look at the little meow cats. Oh, those chicks. I've actually had the pleasure of selling those once before. That was pretty cool. And we've got cottage cheese. That's adorable. We've got ketchup at 75. There's another ketchup. Is that the Lefton one or is that the Devar? I can't see. Looks like it might be the Lefton. Lefton did their own uh, version. Oh, wow. Look at the oil. Look at that one. $195 on that. That one, wow. Or the ketchup's only $75. Mmm. Interesting. Oh, my gosh. Look at the Bloberg book and stuff with the little cherries on it. Who is that by? It is by hand, imported by Giftcraft, but just a Japan item. 
We've got two little birdies. We've got one little birdie. These are precious. But the cool thing is put them together and make it a figural piece or use them as bookends. Okay, are you sitting down? Oh, sir, you're gonna let us get a close up. Look at the PY. So we got the official PY down here. Thank you, sir. And oh my gosh, stop. Now I've had the pleasure of having this set before and these guys came in a cradle. Look it, look it. Those are 175. What is this itty bitty, little tiny bitty thing? It's like a little pocket Saint, Saint Francis, is that you? What is this? 35, that's so unusual. Look, and it's a little saint in there. Oh, you can see it. And of course, we've got the PY apple, the divided dish. We've got the PY, oh my gosh, there's the vinegar and oil cruet. Whoa. Now, you know, you can see that, yeah. These are just like uber, oh my gosh, look at this piece. The lemon, oh, look at him with his little hat on. Oh, there's a micro mosaic even in here. Stop it. No, you stop it. 33. Look at that. Could you imagine cutting that and then piecing that together? I'd go blinder than normal. But you can kind of see, let's go here. Do you see how crisp the eye paint is on that versus this one here, which is more of like your generic made in Japan piece? Um, you know, PY did a phenomenal job of having very specific stylized eye painting. Um, and again, it's flat, it's under glazed. So they're a little bit more durable than if they had done it with cold paint, but Merry Christmas and cheap, cheap to you. Again, great examples of the PY face paint. Wow, that is awesome to see. All right, guys, we're gonna put our foot on the stair and head on upstairs. We've got some great mid cinch vibes going on right off of the bat. Let's check it out. Alrighty, guys, we've got Wild Briar Vintage here, and man, are you in for a treat because they have expanded. Okay, let's just do, okay, we've got a little amber candy dish here. This one is priced at $12. Now listen, that's really unusual. Like the shape on that, isn't that cool? Wow, at 12 bucks, you know what, I'm gonna get that. I know it's amber glass, but it's, the sculpt is just super unique on that. So definitely wanna pick that piece up. I love the handle on it. And then not only that, it, but we've got like a brass finish box here. This is super cute. Oh, a little inkwell, perhaps. That one's priced at 16 Brass stamp box. Great Art Nouveau vibe to it. Alrighty, and then right next door, we've got a little uh, Tiffin piece here in that satin glass. Look at the detailing on that one. Just super high end, super luxe to it. A uh, little trinket dish or a powder box. A little roughness right here to the interior. But that is a beautiful display piece and it's only $16. All right, great to see. Okay, are you sitting down? Grand reveal. Wild Briar has expanded their space. Look at this space. Are you kidding me right now? This is the first time that I have seen it. You know, there was a wall right here and Wild Briar was only in this corner over here, but they have since expanded. Tell me that there is not a flair for decoration. I mean, what? You wanna make yourself at home. Don't you wanna live here? The addition of the mossy green. We've got a contrast of black. You know, it just goes to show that you can use really dark, heavy, masculine colors and then dress it up. This is the perfect blend of masculine and feminine all at the same time. It's comfortable, but tell me it doesn't have such a high-end look to it. My goodness. It's difficult to take it all in. There's just so many beautiful things. There's obvious a love for the earth tones, but yet it doesn't feel too heavy. It doesn't feel like it's dark. It just feels luxurious. Look at the handles. 
the pulls on this dresser with the marble top. Oh my goodness, the plant stand here with the marble insert. It's just, golly. How can you not, how can you not love this? Little accent of, look, that's totally an 80s piece, but it's not reading 80s, right? Oh my word. It's just, I love this. Beautiful. Now, the piece that caught the most attention from me is this mirror. It is a figural mirror, and you see from the front how she's kind of leaning here, like she's checking herself in the mirror. That's because when we get a little bit closer, notice that the sculpt is fully finished, and it actually uh, has separation between the mirror and the sculpt itself. And at the right angle, you see her checking herself out in the mirror uh, this is beautiful whoa and it is solid brass let me tell you what and we are at 84 dollars that is an exceptional piece now it looks like yeah i think these might be new right but hola canole that's an oh that's a legit one right the attention to the detail the weight of it you can just Oh, I love this detail right here. You know who would probably love this mirror? Now this is interesting. You see the cutouts here. Oh gosh, oh, that's a shame. However, that's at 50, that's a phenomenal deal. I mean, you know, here's the thing. It's plaster. The damage is kind of to be expected on something like that. It's sad and unfortunate. Here we've got another beautiful mirror. This one's at 58. This one feels, so it's got the wood backing. The plaster mold would be applied to it. This one's a little bit more contemporary. The wood grain, I like at $58. That's still a great deal, but I think, um, Definitely older, vintage, but not antique. All right, let's see what else we can find here. All righty guys, exiting out of Wild Briar's space. We're gonna enter into some more spaces. Oh, well shoot, we got two of the, the Pyrex mixing bowls for 78. Hey, that's not that bad, uh, especially given the pattern on that one. Definitely, de look at our little um suspect so we're gonna check it out oh i love the best mirror again vintage not antique still an excellent look to it and then we've got our 80s prom realness over here look at the cute little earrings the dinosaurs the little mushrooms that's adorable. But again, your full 80s vibes. And you can't have an 80s vibe without sequins going on to it. Ooh, look at this new space over here, too. Oh, my gosh. Lots of mid-sench. Mid-sench. I said it. We're going to make it happen. Everyone say it with me. Mid-sench. Ooh, pretty. Little Fenton-cased face back here. Ooh, that one's a little heavier than I expected it to be. 50 on that one. Not going to be mad at it. Sure not. Let me just set that back in there carefully. Okay, cool. Great vibe. You guys know I'm a fan, huge fan of color blocking. Oh my golly. It's just popping off. It's just, looks, I can't, I'm confused. I don't know where to go. Left, right, front. You can't go wrong. Oh my lordy B. Let's see what we find over here. Some cute, some kitsch. What are these? I think these are the girly inspired candles. I can't remember the actual manufacturer to those pieces. We've got the hall planter over here. Great piece, love this one. Usually quite spender. Quantico star, please. Um, I don't know. I can't see. To be determined. Just a to be determined on that piece. All right, we've got some more anthropomorphic here. 
Oh, here's the little cruet for our Japan piece. We saw some of that collection down there, only 35 for those. Hey, there's a little lemon juice PY picture. Really cute on that. That one's only 55. That's adorable. Oh, she's so happy. My goodness. A little hot dog and hamburger shakers on there. We've got some Roseville. Oh, or no, this is Hall. Yeah, that's Hall. Very feminine. All right? Who's this? Yeah, Hall. Okay. I think this is a little bit more of a contemporary piece of jadeite. Maybe it's not that font. That looks old. Hmm. That seems weird. Mosser, Mosser glass. So this is cool to see. Um, it is $20 and the, the M, the Mosser is down there. Now I will say this, um, looking at it on eBay, none of the other ones actually have their font still on them. They're all gone. Um, you know, they're going for 25 to 50 depending, and that is without font. I don't know. I kind of really dig that piece. I think it's quite pretty. Again, the fact that the font is on there, I'm gonna go ahead and get this piece. Holy moly, this is a new vendor. To me, I'm just, and I mean, we've got all, look at Snap, Crackle, and Pop going on in here. I mean, this is lovely. We've got all of our shelves here with our tinies. Definitely taking our time to check it out. What do we got over here? Little frog squeaker. That's adorable. Look at, is that Alan J? Baby toy. Okay. <laughs> In case you didn't know, I mean, it could be for an adult. He's 14. He's really cute. Looks like this one's one of those vinyl lamps. I see a cord there. Those always make me uncomfortable because I'm like, is that going to melt? Oh my gosh, look at the little pink and blue dog back here. The planter. It looks like it could be Relpo. Yeah, 24. They're adorable. My goodness. Let's see what else we can find over here. Let's not damage or destroy anything. Oh, it's the kitchen witch. Look at that. It's Louise's kitchen. How about some? I just found some of these. Urgh, my golly. How much? 54 on that set. Yep. That's what they go for. Not more. Ooh, she's pretty. She's serious. 125. I like her too. I like the um, kind of the medium complexion on that one. She's 62 on that one. It's cute. Coming up into, is this Viking? Pretty sure it is. Yeah, Viking. Oh no, this is Leatra's. No, it's, I don't know whose boot this is. I forget. Oh, look at this one. Ooh, pink opalescent. Rib swung. That's 320. That's a little beyond our little reseller budget, so we'll put that little cutie back right in show carefully, of course. <laughs> uh, we Oh, what are you trying to sell, lady? Oh my goodness. Great little Fenton vase here. Oh, loving the moss green there, colonial green. That's an interesting fairy lamp. It just says, what does it say? Made in USA. Who? $14? I think we can make a little money on that one. Let's get that piece too. I've never seen that pattern before, so I'm willing to take a risk on it at just 14 bucks. Why not? And of course, what I'm really trying to go for is back here, this beautiful blue swung. It looks like we've got some stretch hobnail on it. You know what? Let me check this piece out first. This is a Fenton piece here. Ooh, look at that green opalescent. That one's 59, isn't that beautiful? The color is just gorgeous on that one. Let's set that one back in here carefully. Looks like we've got some older Fenton back in here with this one, blue opalescent ribbed. That one's at 38, that's pretty. Ooh, it almost has like an iridescent effect to it down here at the bottom. Interesting to see but I really want to check that one out.
All right here we've got it out now this is at 86 so i'm gonna have to leave it behind but i wanted to get it out so that we could check it a little bit closer it's a pretty one i love those little stubby feet on it it's adorable and we've got some more mid-century glass here with a gray amberina and a ellie smith smoothie on this one i do prefer of course you know you're seeing the um the pedestal here i do like these a little bit better this one's at 210 okay uh we're gonna set it there carefully okay and then of course we do have our amber ribbed here this is i don't know oh my gosh they're salt and pepper shakers or are they spice it's like ceramic spices i don't know how you would determine what one is what maybe they had labels isn't that adorable that one's at 87. Uh, and yeah, we do have some kitsch down here with our little blue birds wearing their little floral hats, because why not? Those guys are at 69. Of course, we've got Neil the Frog back there. And yes, I do see her. We've got little Miss Cutie Pie here in her creamer and sugar. Now she's at 95 for the creamer. I'm going to assume these are kind of priced separately. Uh, now she is missing her little ceramic spoon. Got the beginnings of a hairline and she's at 95. So great items to see, super, super collectible. And then we'll just pop on over into here. We've got some left and bunnies, one of my most personal favorites, but we have this little fighting cricket here. Oh, is he a bee? Put him up, he says. And I like this larger left and rabbit here. I don't have any of the larger ones. That one's at 14, not bad. All right, what else do we got? Some little pixies and some little elves here chilling out. Some Rosbros. He would have had glasses on. That's the little hole that you see there in the head. And we're wrapping it up here in spring and Easter. Oh my God. Oh, there's an egg kit. Stop it. Boutique eggery kit. <laughs> okay. I think is everything included but the egg? Or maybe there is an egg in there. I don't know. It's just all your accoutrements. It's $20 a kit. Interesting to see all the things they used to do back in the day, right? And a little bit more of the Easter. You guys, and any visit to American Daydream would not be complete without checking out the full retro uh, video store here that has been carefully cultivated and curated by Miss Leatra, like killing it. I mean, look at the carpet even. I mean, full 80s blockbuster vibes, but actually kind of a little bit cooler. Like it was one of those ones that was locally owned. You know, it wasn't all like corporate, man. Halloween 3, one of my favorite out of the series. Three more days till Halloween, Silver Shamrock. All right, we got some more stuff over here we're gonna check out. Ooh, look at Pixies. They look a little fiendish for Pixies to me. I'll pull on down to Chia. Is that plastic? Yeah, it's like an acrylic plastic. Oh, what does it say though? Made in Hong Kong. TT. TT the turtle. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, what do we got over here? A dog lover mid century kitsch for sure. Again, great pull together. Wonderful vibe. Displayed. Easy to shop. We are digging it. That looks like more vintage jewelry casket. That wasn't going to get lost on me. Look at these little spooked out pooches. There is some vintage t-shirts and apparel. Now this display is set up a little bit differently than the last time I was in. We've got vintage video games, but the most important thing is that Masters of the Universe is in fact still represented. And welcome to the magical wonderland of Leatra's vintage booth. I mean, my goodness. We've got the, the holidays are all on full representation. We've got all of the kitschy, the tacky, and it's all here. It's just living its best life. 
Oh, I love that tray. It's super cute. All of the ornaments individually priced. Look at this piece down here. Oh my gosh, it's all one piece. How much is that, girl? How much do you own that? I'm digging it with the pine cone, the mercury glass pine cones on it. Oh, you want to be tricky, don't you? You're going to freak me out here. 28 on that. That's great. Oh my gosh, it's the Ross Bro uh, Frosty with his pipe still intact. So it is not broken. That's certainly a rarity. It's usually missing. 38 on him. My goodness, such good stuff. Look at the mercury glass Christmas tree. A little more of the contemporary. A tiny little feather tree up there for you. Some boxes of shiny. Oh, I see a croissant. Oh, my word. Imagine walking in for Sunday services with that on. 18 on that. New in package, too. And again, we've got more of the Christmas here. Love to see it. Oh. Go ahead and turn around. We've got Christmas and Easter living their best lives next door to one another. Because oh, why not? Oh, my word. Look at these giant reflectors. Oh, these are the tree toppers. These guys. Uh, why, though, Tag? It's 18. You know, I would get it for um, craft purposes. So, also, I can't do it on that one because I would, quite frankly, be gluing it to other things. We've got some blue mercury glass beads here. Wow. With the stars. These are the OGs from the 30s and 40s. Great color. Great condition on that. I am seeing little to no damage. Uh, I'm gonna pick those up at 18 because I love the colorway on them. Popping over here into Easterland. Don't even know what they are, just loving it. So it looks like they're little like Hong Kong plastic chicks here. That's adorable. Uh, we've got some putt style uh, birds here in the green and the blue. 12 on that look at this little creeper here he's definitely seen some things that is for sure even has some girly candles my goodness it's just got a great happy vibe to it all of those pastel colors mixed in together and if you're a huge crafter you can come here and get some vintage craft dolls for your purposes all right we've got a lot going on here there's tons of stuff just tucked in all of the cubby holes so you definitely need to kind of take your time look at that anna lee the black cat flying over the moon that's adorable that one's at 25 and then i see that whoa what are you what's going on here oh because it's on a stand with the clouds full displayability the black cat back there is looking extra sassy that is for sure what else do we have do i see little kittles who are you, little tinies? Oh my lord, look at these sweeties. No, these are little dollhouse people. I forget their name. They were made by Mattel. Bag o pee wee doll. <laughs> Those are 20. On here, this doll did catch my eye. Look at her. Oh my gosh, it's like a strawberry shortcake knockoff of some sort. She is a Eugene doll from 1981 stamped there on her feet she's at 16 and i saw these little boxes they seem to have she's sassy look at that little tooth this is a sweetheart doll okay i've never heard of these before but gosh darn oh look at it. that's adorable and here she has a little red-headed friend this isn't look it is made in the british in the British Crown Colony of Hong Kong. Those are at 15. And then look at this. There's even these little packets here of doll clothes. I mean, that's the packaging isn't all that like grandiose or anything like that, but those are really tiny and cute. Love it. Oh, look at the little top. And again, we've got a whole bunch of little cabinets and nooks and crannies. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's the tiny, oh my lord, look at it. It's the teeny tiny little baby to that bag of dolls we saw earlier. Wait, hold on. So it's their baby. Look at how cute that is. Isn't that adorable? Stop it. It's like this the size of my pinky thumbnail. It's adorable. 
I don't know, you guys. I came back to her. She was just calling my name, and I opened the other fashion accessory box, and look at the outfit that it comes with. I mean, she has underwear and a bra, for goodness sake. Now, the doll package did contain this brush and comb. I don't know. I'm just like... I'm really digging that for some reason. Now, I did switch up booze, and I did want to let you know that I did, in fact, see these. These are Lucite candles in their original packaging, which I've quite frankly never seen. Um, they are at $60, which given the market on Lucite, I think is pretty gosh darn good, especially considering the original packaging. But again, resale can't do it. Now, I didn't spot this though this loose site owl trivet my goodness he's twenty dollars that's a hootie who look at him cool Alrighty, guys well there you have today's shop with me video i hope that you had a great time you guys down in the description of the video i have linked not only the contact information so far as the address and the phone number for american daydream but you can also follow along on instagram make sure to go down there check it out it's for free you're going to show some support to some really hard-working dedicated enthusiastic individuals as always you guys down in the comments let me know what your favorite find of the day was or the item you wish i had most picked up either works and you know i'd appreciate it and until next time guys remember keep it rusty crusty and dusty bye guys